What happened in Orlando could happen anywhere, even a beautiful place like this. I'm not saying that to sound alarms, but just to, uh, to be uh, realistic. Uh, and uh, so tonight we want to talk with our panelists about some action behind the words that we've been hearing all week. That's right. So let me take a moment now to introduce the panel who've joined us tonight. Representative Raul Ruiz from the 36th District is here tonight. We thank you, sir, for joining us. Palm Springs Mayor Rob Moon, also here tonight. Thank you, sir. Mike Thompson, CEO of the LGBT Community Center of the Desert, joining us. And Imam Raimondo Nur of the Islamic Society of Palm Springs. We thank you, sir, for being with us tonight. I want to begin with an article that actually you wrote, Hank, for the op-ed in the Desert Sun that on Monday came out in the paper and was spread nationwide by USA Today. Your opening line, for Hank, in that article said, every anti-gay politician, every bigoted preacher, every self-hating bully has blood on their hands. Make no mistake about it, the shooting in Orlando, which targeted the LGBT community, was the end result of decades of anti-gay hate speech and gay bashing. Hank, are we all complicit? Uh, well, I think the people who spread hate speech are complicit. I wrote that for a reason, because I think that words matter. And words like uh, the, the, even uh, uh, gay bashing uh, and, uh, and any kind of statements that uh, call for inequality for lesbian and gay people uh, gives permission to unstable people who have ammunition to pull the trigger. And I feel that strongly about it. I got a lot of hate mail. I'm glad the people behind us applauded here tonight. I got a lot of hate mail after that column, believe me. Which is stunning. Well, there were a lot of people who said this wasn't an anti-gay crime. This guy was a terrorist. This was a, uh, an act of terrorism. And uh, Mike Thompson is uh, shaking his head no. Uh, maybe that's uh, something we want to talk about tonight. We will absolutely talk about that. Before we do, Congressman, you were here on Sunday at a vigil where passionate people had very important things to say. I want to play you a little clip of what the congressman had to say right here on Sunday. Throughout, throughout the international community, Raul, what will you write to the NRA when you get I'm going to tell them to stop their bull to give universal background checks and to make sure that nobody lives in fear of gun violence in our nation and in our community. Congressman, by virtually any measurement, the NRA is one of the most powerful lobbying companies in this country. $50 million given to senators alone. Talk to me about any conversations you've had with the NRA or what's our first step and what were you talking about last Sunday night? Well, I, first of all, I need to tell you what my wife told me when I got home that night. She reminded me that I have three graduate degrees from Harvard University, so she said uh, I could have used different words. <laughs> I can see where, maybe she suggests possibly different exactly. words. Exactly. But, but you, here, were, you is, were very passionate. Is, I, I, because I'm very passionate, first of all, to condemn this act of terror, this act of hate crime that took the lives of 49 innocent people. Uh, and this is important for us in Palm Springs to show our solidarity, to show our resilience, to show that we can mourn as a community with the community of Orlando, and to give thanks to law enforcement and the first responders who risked their lives to and the health care providers to 